Some people win their jobs halfway through their undergrad, they're 20 years old and they win a job in the NSO. Others of us had to pay our dues. I went to three different schools for a total of eight years. And then for five years after that, I played in part-time orchestras and taught part-time. And I took uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 auditions. The greatest challenge in my career, I was driving 30,000 miles a year and playing symphonies all the way from Alabama through Ohio and Michigan. And I spent as much time in my car as I did practicing. Hi, I'm Peter Kane, and I'm the bass clarinetist in the NSO. And welcome to my house. So this is my bass clarinet. It has an incredible range. It can go lower than the cello. Uh, but yet it can go as high as you want to squeak. So the bass clarinet is twice the size of uh, what I like to call the real clarinet. That means it can play twice as low. And in the background, you can actually see I have a lamp made out of a clarinet. This is a, a thing that you will find is common in many clarinetists' house, despite their spouse's objection. Unlike a violin, which appreciates, clarinets are like cars, and eventually they lose so much value that it's not worth repairing them. It's just cheaper to get a new one. But this clarinet lamp is, is special to me because I inherited it from my first clarinet teacher. So that reminds me of her every time I, I see it.